Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, Volcanic here, back with another review. Today I'm going to try to squeeze a 5 for 1 if I can within 10 minutes. Let's see if I can do it. Alright, right here I got the the freezing carbonite chamber. Thought I'd give a quick review on that. Now, there's a special figure that comes with this pack, but I'm not sure which one it was. And I got so many Han Solos, I can't figure it out. Um, you do need a big, fat, bulky figure. This figure... The shock tie I'm using here, she's not going to work good in this. You probably won't even see her come through the fabric. But it has to be a bulky figure because the box itself is pretty thick in there. And it pushes the figure against the fabric to make, you know, the face outline and stuff to make it look like it's in carbonite. But I'm sure it's not. She's so she's like one of the skinniest figures. So I doubt she's uh, going to work well for this demonstration. But it'll give you guys a uh, good idea of how this works. Um... All right, so uh, first up here, you have a little compartment that can, you know, break away and move down. It's got some uh, good detail in there. A little bit of, uh, you know, some good paintwork, uh, chrome and stuff. Um, it does have a, a firing moving cannon in the back, and there's two um, rockets that go with it. It's in the back door. I'll show you that in a second. Off the side here. You have a, a computer screen, computer that you can pull off the side to extend it, or you can take it right off the the hinge and put it wherever you want, whether you want it here or over wherever you want to set your uh, diorama up. Um, down here, this is removable, and that's where the the carbonite will sit behind there. And uh, there's two levers on each side. Um, We got two levers on each side. Inside here, the, as you can see, the door is open. And uh, this one lever on the side will, if this is not in the way, there we go. Oops. Okay. Get that out of the way. This lever down here will pull the figure down into the carbonite chamber. And then there's another lever on the side here. If I push this back, as you can see, it's pushing the figure into the carbonite chamber, shutting it and locking the door on the carbonite chamber. And then when we lift her up, well, we gotta back this out. Release the figure from its thing. And then we pull her out. There is shock tie in carbonite. See how she's a little too skinny to show up. I mean, if it fit, oops. The figure was a, uh, you know, more tighter. You'd be able to see more detail. But I always thought that was a pretty neat little uh, way of doing the carbonite. Slides in right down there. There's a little lever up here to release the figure and there's shock tie now I thought I'd show a couple more Hans got this Han he's the old school Han it doesn't really look like Han but at least you can identify that that is Han Solo when you look at it you know okay that's Han and um and I got this one here I forget where I get this one but uh Look at that face. That resembles nothing like Han. And look at his eyes. This looks very concerned. Looks like he's got to take a dump. Kind of looks like Duke from G.I. Joe or something. And then, of course, you got the one that uh, comes with the slave one. So those are Hans and Carbonites. Now... I'd like to show a little uh, custom work I did here. Well, not custom. I uh, finally got a robe for my uh, Foul Madoom, whatever the heck his name is. And I think he looks so much better with a robe. And it fits him nice. And actually, the hood, believe it or not, fits around his head nice. Perfect. Nice tight fit. Nice uh, tight fit for his head. But, um, and I don't know if most people don't know this, but... Uh, his boots are removable. You can unsnap them and take them off, and he has the same feet as this guy here. 
now let's take a look at these now this is the one that you get in the mail away pack and uh, he's got some red around his eyes and he's really black and then there's uh, some silver tone on his chest I don't know if I can get it to come out but yeah, you can see it a little bit up in here it's got like a, re a thing when the light hits it it reflects a little bit of color which is pretty neat now this one he has no red around his eyes totally different totally different uh, I make I paint job and he's darker around the face lighter little uh, mouth but it is the same character I mean look at the hands and the position it's the same arms and the same feet um, I imagine this is probably removable it's very tight on there but I'm sure it can be pried off or whatnot and I bet it's the same figure underneath uh, they just gave it a little different bit of paint job and um, thing but the thing I hate about this figure the most is if you look here at his gun that is a really thick huge gun this will fit in no other figures hands uh, here just give an example it's bigger than Han's hand it could never fit in there so I mean and you got a very huge hole for the gun to fit in well they didn't change the hands on the Jedi figure so you got that hole and that hole and they expect you to fit this little lightsaber in there so you kinda gotta just stick it in there and, and just hope he can balance act it try to tip to the side and there you go that's him holding his sword I kinda don't like that idea but I think he is a cool looking Jedi and it's nice to have one uh... here's another one I love these guys all right, next up. I wanted to do uh, uh, um, one on one of the taller figures here. And I think we got taller figures, but not as, I don't know, I, I'm pretty sure he's probably one of the taller figures. I'm not sure if he's taller than the Build-A-Droid there, uh, after you build that one Build-A-Droid. But... This is a very cool figure. He does have a joint. He has two joints. If you really look up there, which is very unique. He's got a joint up there and a joint up there. So you can get him into weird positions. Like he can sit down and and um, do it. His name is um, Graxel Kelvin. He comes from Watu's box set. And that comes with Shaka, which is um, a red version of the Blue Dancer there. Um very a lot of detail in this figure as you can see great paint job lots of colors but if you haven't gotten you watch whose box I, it, it's worth it just for the two extra figures um, I'll be showing my uh, my uh, Shaka when I do my Jabba scene but uh, he's got the soft goods mixed with uh, plastic. Nice tall figure. Stands out in a crowd. Beautiful. And he can sit down. It's very, very nice. And next up, the smallest Star Wars figure. Got Targon holding it for me. Here, give me that baby there. Slip him out of my little robe for him. And there we go. I can't think of a figure that's any smaller than this one. This is smaller than Baby Leia. This is smaller than um, the Ewok baby. Smaller than Tusken Radar baby. Um, it's, and the one thing about it, it is its arms move. So it's posable. So this is the only one that I know of that's actually posable. Look at the size of him. I think his name's Rada. I know him more because I watched the movie at the drive-in theaters. You, they mainly called him Stinky. So this is Stinky. Little baby Jabba the Hutt. Well, he's not Jabba the Hutt, but he's that species.
It's a really cool figure. But uh, if you can think of a figure that's smaller than that one, tell me, compared to, say we'll put them by Han. Almost it's just a little bigger than the character's head. But uh, yeah, that's the smallest one I can I can think of. Well, that sums up my uh, my little review here today. Oh, well, let's take a look at him. This is a good Jedi. Though, look at his face. Kind of reminds me of a dog. Every time I look at him, I think of uh, McGruff, the, the crime fighter. Well, I'm going to take a bite on a crime. <laughs> He's just got that look. But uh, this is a real good Jedi. I like the detailing in this figure. I wish he came with a brown robe, of course. Got some good detail. All right. Well, that just sums up this little quick review here. Um, thank you guys for all tuning in, and please subscribe, and I'll have more videos coming shortly. Thank you for watching.